All right, everybody, welcome to the 804 Podcast. I'm Nick. Jesse. Alex. And today, for our first, for our first episode of the year, yeah. we got seven. No one and only. Yes, sir. What's up? Right, right. We good. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, I want to give a huge shout out to my girl Shantae. I see sh- spiritual trap house in the Peace building. Y'all. Yes, sir. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Uh, well, since you're giving out facts and everything, uh, what well, on? Uh, how, how long have we been doing this? How many episodes? Ah, uh, man. Right. Well, let's do it. Get some quick man. Okay. Hmm. Right. Carry the one. Right. Pie. Sandwich. Oh, Meat. Um, right. geometry, mm-hmm. yeah. Carry the two. I'm going to say this is episode... The bag reading. 106? Yes, sir. You're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, so Seven, you remember what episode you was on? You know what I mean? Right, yeah, yeah. I mean, just yeah, yeah. Just, okay. just, you did not just do mine. No, 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 I was like... I don't know why. Something in my head is saying like 50 something. I was about to say 50 something nah. too. Okay. Like it might be something like that. Actually, I remember the Talk episode. To him. <laughs> Talk to him, Nick. What was it? It was 35. All right, everybody. Welcome to the 804 Podcast, episode 35. Hey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Katie, Katie. I'm Nick. Jesse. Alex. And today. 35. Mm. Damn, we was all right. Really, it was 35. Nick, you that guy. Yeah. yeah because I was looking it up earlier. Okay. That's actually. On point. On point. Yeah. All right, Nick, let's get it popping then. Actually, I came with a quote of the day. Oh, I came, oh, I came with a quarter. Excuse me, let's just go ahead and leave. I had, to, I had to write it down. So, in the notebook. So, in the notebook. You know, in the note. He takes notes. Yeah. So, I don't know if y'all, y'all seen the Karate Kid, right? No. Which one? So, Might have the, seen the new old. Uh, the old one. All right. It's all so, good. It's all good. Yeah, it's all I've been, good. I've been watching. <laughs> uh, <Kai>. I'm <laughs> I've been watching Cobra Kai, and you know, my man John Priest, he be, you know, he'll drop bombs. Family's or business. Mm. So he said, when something bad happens, you have two choices. You can either let it tear you down, or you can let it build you up. Sometimes a step backwards opens a new path forwards. So what does that mean to you, Nick? It means... With the, with the Cobra Kai, yeah, yeah, how did that, that rub off for you, right? Uh, well... First off, you know, it's a new year, so, you know, new things to do, and new it's, year. we're going to have some setbacks, but you can let that shit tear you down, or, you know, you can keep on moving forward. Respect. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I'm getting real, I'm getting used to this on the, on the sticks real quick. Yeah, he's yeah. dabbing you up. I know, it is getting real used yeah. to No doubt, no doubt. Right, dog is with us, too. Right, yeah, right, yeah. yeah. That's my dog. Shout no out, doubt, John no doubt. no doubt, no doubt. All right. He beat him up, right? Right, exa- exactly. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know about all that. Right, yeah. So, again, we got seven here on the 804 podcast, part two. Yes, sir. The double back. She had something else she had to say, so we yeah. here with it. Yeah. It's crazy because when I was last here, I just started my locks. I just, I'm just thinking about my. Oh, yeah. I had, Actually, like, just yeah, Alex's starting his now, so. Something like right, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just started for a while now. My yeah. naps. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the difference. My shit been nappy. Yeah, damn. Yeah. It, it's snappy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Tighten that up. Right, yeah. So, um. You gotta come back. I'm gonna right. just sit on the back. I just be talking shit. Just, 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 so, money. so, a lot has been going on since we did, you know, your part two. So, tell us what's been going on with you. <sighs> All right. I've moved. Melodic Monday has moved locations for sure. We be were at Melodic the Buttery still, I think. Um, and. Now we're at the Fort Cyber. I don't know, actually, I'm going to like take a little tidbit. If you're on my live, make sure you follow Jay Monday. And I'm hopping off so y'all don't have to see this. Love y'all. Peace. But still give us that follow, though. Right? Yeah. Yeah. No bullshit. No bullshit. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I moved locations from the Nutty Buttery to, actually, I, I moved a couple locations since then. We went to Iron Bridge mm-hmm. in Chesterfield. Freaking um, the collective facts. That was a nice little job. We had 420 facts. And then um, and now we're at the 
for Cyber Cafe, which I'm is, I'm hoping becomes the home of Melodic Mondays. Yeah. Like that's yes, where yes, yes. it's set up. It is. It's a, it's a vibe. Mm-hmm. It's made for that. You yeah. feel me? Um, I low-key feel like Melodic Mondays is inspiration for that, but we not gonna. I ain't gonna get that deep into that. So we get that deeper than that. But um, what else has been going on? I don't know. That's been doing some work. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I feel like I've I've had a couple of shows since then outside of Melodic. I did the Divine and Conquer Showcase. I'm still going through those interviews you guys gave me. Mm -hmm. Um, I really liked them. That was pretty cool. And then I did my first collab event um, this year with uh, Big Dame and Vaughn Wave, um, the Crash the Scene Showcase. Not the Crash the Scene, that was me. Um, what was it called? The creative space. There's been so much going on. Like it feels mm-hmm. like I, I lived four years in like this one year since the last time I even saw you guys. I don't even feel like I'm the same person. So Hey, yeah. hey. That's good. You like that. Keep yourself busy. So it's not that's not the same, you know, solo yeah. you're looking at over oh, there. Right, God. right. I mean, oh, right, right. I mean you God, got a new cut man. and everything. Right, yeah, you don't know. You don't know who he is these days, but it's all good. Oh, yeah, facts. I'm sorry. I definitely Talk shit. so much stuff this one. Oh, we got a lot of time, too, by the way. Right, yeah. Y'all ain't got to feel like y'all got to condense shit. Yeah, we got, he, Al got his, you know, his lemonade over there. We got a lot. Yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. Right, right. On the muddy yak. Go ahead. But, yeah, he wilding out, too. Yeah. But, um. <laughs> she got you on that one. <laughs> she got you on that one. Right. No, no, not with the tangibles. Yeah. other events as well um it first started off with the bil showcase that was going on in Monroe park that was really freaking cool um and now i have the opportunity to host a showcase in williamsburg every thursday called um they, they switched it up this week is hip-hop versus r&b um what, what you guys now i was just gonna say like when I've been to like a few things like melodic and things like that, I've just kind of watched. You're a natural host. Yeah. Yeah, you are a natural <laughs> host, like just hands down. It's so. just yeah, it just happens. I just mm-hmm. like to talk to people, and I feel like I just I know what to say. A lot yeah. of people are like you know you should perform, you should do more poetry, this that, and the third. And I love poetry, but like literally oh, hosting you, is even like games and stuff. Like even all like you are a natural. Yeah. So yeah. Nah, no, props to you though. Yeah. Okay. And that's the goal. So then one day, you know, we all could be sitting front row at the BET Awards and I'm up there bitch hosting. Big facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's been cool. Like, some of the hosting opportunities I've gotten one time was just because I just looked. Like, one day the person knew I was a host, but I just looked so the part of a host mm-hmm. that they were like, well, I have to have you on the mic. And I got on the mic and I did my thing and it yeah. gave what it was supposed to give. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. 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 Nothing less. Hey. Nothing Talk less. your shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, bro. Shout out to my dog, bro. Um, I am also on a, a radio show podcast called Starting This Wednesday called um, Black Top Radio. Yeah, so they asked me to to co-host. There's like this really big event going on Friday um, called, it's like a, um, a bike, uh, what is it called? You know when people do like the bike jumps with the motorcycles and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bike show, but it's a bicycle show though. Like it's not like a like, dirt bike. Kind no, of? like no. bikes. Like uh. they have like a bicycle pair shop. They're doing like an indoor um, skate park type of deal and vendors and all the stuff at South Park Mall. So like the radio show will be covering it this weekend. I'm really excited about that. Um, you know, just getting out there more, trying to. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I want people to understand who I am. And that's like yeah. it's, it's too. It's oh, no, they get it. Yeah, yeah, they definitely get and it. And if you don't, like you will, because there's a lot of people that don't. Like they're like, who are you? And then they see who I am, and it's like, oh. Okay, I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess I'll start with the question of um, getting to the Four Cyber Cafe. I guess just uh, talk a little bit more in detail about like, how that came about. Okay, so um, shout out to my people at the collective, you know, because mm-hmm. uh, they definitely helped with that connection. So when I was at the collective, you know, I had like a certain time frame of um, how long I was supposed to be there. And then maybe two weeks, three weeks into me being in the collective, the Four Cyber Cafe opened up, um, and they had already been communicating with some of my people there, so um, once they decided to change the framework of what they were doing, they were like, hey, you know, we kind of pitched Melodic Mondays over to the owner at the Four Cyber Cafe, go up there and set up a meeting with him, and, you know, do your thing. So that's exactly what I did. I ended up setting up a meeting with him. Um, shout out to my girl Butter too because she was a lot of help as well as um, speaking life and energy into me and what I was doing. So I sat down with him, her, and a few other people and um, now I'm like locked in there because I'm, I'm doing that. They were like, you want to see what you do because they've never seen a lot of Mondays and what it brought. And I think like the first month 
it just went exactly the way that they needed it to go. You know, they're like, okay, she she knows what she's doing. Mm. Um, her, the fan base is there, the artists, the performances is there. Like, at the, even at this point now, like the servers are be like, yo, like your show was awesome. Like, I'm, I'm making sure I work every Monday, and I'm like, hey, yeah, you should. No doubt. Uh, Nikki, you anything? No, I'm gonna let Alex go. All right, you ready um, to get to it then? How about this lady question? Lady. Why, when do you ever ask a black woman how old she is? Never, never did. Well, he's not asking you. Yeah, technically, I mean, he's putting your ass at a certain yeah, right. yeah. Now this one, this one's actually pretty simple, more laid back. Um, I'll, but I'll, ex- I'll explain to Shantae yeah. real quick though. There, um, it's basically a what if question. Okay. So like, basically, Alex is gonna put her at a certain age and see what she'll do at that certain okay. age. So if you yeah. was if you was this age, what would you do? And Al is known for having some crazy ass scenarios. Yeah, that's so just we, wild. One. Right. I mean, yeah. I mean, look at his look at his hoodie. So right, 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 right. So we about to see, right? But yeah. Um, right. So. Don't matter. What. I'm gonna put you at age. Hmm. Let's do thirty. Hey, hey, but I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, 37, that bad, that bad. Yeah. What are we doing at 37? 37, the name of your second child. The name of my second child? Yeah. Do I, do I get a sex for the second child or I just get to pick? Like, whether you get the, matter of fact, yeah, you get to pick. Yeah, so. You get to pick, okay. Um, you can say for both, yeah. And then you can go. Um, <laughs> well, I know that. I've always told myself, like, if I had two girls, like, it was gonna, my first daughter's name was going to be um, Journey, and then my second daughter's name was probably going to be, like, um, Jody Nicole or Jody Milan. So, at that time, that, and if it's a boy, I don't know. I don't know. That's just going to be something. I don't get <laughs> Now, I, I know for, like, all my kids that, that their name is going to be, like, something, like, really different. Mm-hmm. Like even like I was thinking about abbreviation of my name. So if anything, it'll either be Journey, Jody Milan, or like um, a, a, I'm not gonna tell you out a different variation of my name. It's a little secret. I'm keeping myself. Nah, you good. You good. Yeah. Off camera. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Possibly. I've only told. I think I'll say the only person that that know the other name. You feel me? Hey, no. Nah. The person that helped me come up with it. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's You got the real mouth today, Alex. I have to agree. I have to agree. Samantha. 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 Right. Samantha Sage. Right, yeah. So I'm going to lie. But my second child, I feel like, will be my little dog. His name is Dirty. 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 D
Yeah, you got two. Yeah. Solomon, all the bar forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, man. 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 That's it,
and beforehand so you you get to performing you didn't do a sound check and now your mics aren't working or your dj doesn't have something connected properly yeah, so it's taking you back another hour or so um or people not sending music enough on time and things like that so i think it's more or less like lack of um preparation and when it comes to communication it's just more or less um when you don't realize how much work you're going to be doing from coordinating like the photographers the videographers the artists the but dj people yeah them. but it's like it's difficult to designate people to do certain things as well like I don't trust anybody to help me with a showcase you know I trust myself to help other people mm -hmm. but it's not too many people that I will be like hey like I need help planning this that and the third can you do this can you do this can you do this because if it doesn't happen I'm gonna be fairly upset you know and I'd rather be upset with myself or do mm -hmm. like the backlash myself than to be like well I had this person do this and they didn't do that because that's not an excuse mm -hmm. you know it's yeah. like it's all on you too. Yeah, at the end yeah. of the day, if it doesn't mm -hmm. go right, it's my face that's on there. So it's like, you know, I'd rather spend the the first month or two sitting there like, okay, cool, I'm gonna have this DJ for this, this for this, this for this, this is gonna be the location, this is how I'm gonna pay it, this is how much it's going to be, mm -hmm. like, you know, the whole nine and then promotion, you know. Right, so right. I just yeah, and then like communicating with the artists, like I said, like a lot of people don't know how to with the artists, they, they're like, well, this is an opportunity for you. You should be doing this, that, and third. And in reality, it's an opportunity for both of us at the end of the day. Like, you're getting paid off of me. True. And I'm coming to get exposed. You feel me? I'm, trying, I'm coming to get all my stuff put out for in front face. So we're both, like, eating from this. So don't talk to me like I owe you something when in reality you're asking me to do something as well. You know, a lot nice. of people lack that respect. They're like, oh, I'm doing this, that, and the third. So you got to come at me a certain type of way. Like, no, ma'am, you're asking me to do this. Do we want a name drop? No, it's no because it's uh -uh. like <laughs> no, 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 no. It, it just happens. It, ha it happens on so many different occasions. Facts. You know, so I'm not even just thinking about like one time. I'm thinking about like even multiple yeah. conversations. It can be multiple people. Yeah. It's not, no, no, it, no right. but it is yeah. though. It is though. Like yeah. you know, it's places that are people that's not doing stuff now, and it's because like they lost the respect of the artist. If one so artist be like, hey. I'm not going to this event no more because this person don't do this or their show was like this or even in the same sense I appreciate people a lot because they'll compare other shows to Melodic Mondays mm -hmm. you know they'll be like oh well I'm not going back to this that and third because they just want money they don't do it how you do your shows mm -hmm. and that's a big thing when people see on a regular basis from somebody is conducting a show a certain type of way and then you, they come to you and it's like oh this is not how I should be treated this is not the way this show should go it's like it's, it's a whole different dynamic mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. I would say, what is one, out of the year 2021, what is one negative thing that you saw or that you kept seeing throughout the, that entire year when it came to shows, people, just anything? Entitlement. <laughs> entitlement. Entitlement was probably like the most negative thing that has been floating around this year. Um, you know, because everybody is, is, you are entitled to feel how you feel about what's going on in yourself. But in the same sense, it's like all of us are still in the same bracket. You feel me? All of us are still working towards the same goal. Nobody is out here having dinner with Lil Baby and gapping up fucking Jay Z and saying hey to Beyonce. You know, even like you know, like so so it's just like it was just like a whole lot of entitlement. Even coming from like artists that have like just stepped on the scene or coming from like um people who are putting together events that have just come on the scene scene, it's like where everybody feels like that they're, they're like the it, the, the shit, you feel me? Like they're the it person. And it's okay to feel like that, but like people moving like that and feeling like, oh, you owe me this or you gotta do this and you gotta do this. And it's like, don't nobody gotta do shit for nobody. Mm, facts. Right? You know, at, at the end of the day, like you gotta be appreciative of every opportunity that somebody gives you or like the position that anybody is in. You know, I, I even try to, I had to realize in myself that like, there was a certain level of, of entitlement because it's like, okay, I know I'm the shit. But I don't have to carry like you know like I'm above anybody else. Like what I'm doing is above anybody else. Like or like my artist is above everybody else. I know that I'm great. I know that the people that I work with is great. I know what I'm doing is great, and it's cool to hold that. But to be like, oh, I can do this and shut this down and do this and da 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 da. Not that I ever said that, but just like even realizing like you know I had people try to shut me down in 2021, try to co compete with me, and in reality it's just like you know them having that entitlement to think that they can do what I'm doing. Just off the strength of just because it's like what has them where they are now and it's not here you know what i'm saying so yeah a lot of entitlement a lot of entitlement no doubt yeah. uh Al, you got anything no, yeah i got some yeah, don't worry, we, we, got, we got topics too, so we're not gonna keep it right. It's Lewis, we're done. Oh, I'm saying is, 
Just write it down on a piece of paper. Okay. Man, all I'm saying, this shit been crazy, bro. Like, this shit been crazy. <laughs> all I gotta say, 2022 starting off cool. crazy. Like, but, um, I got something for you. So, somebody come up to you, you know, and they want to get into music management. Mm-hmm. You know, what advice are you going to give them? Um, you have to really, like, fuck with the artist. Mm. Like, that's the first thing. Like, you cannot manage artists that you really do not fuck with. Okay. Unless they have the funds to be managed or unless you have the funds to be managed and you think that they're going to make it somewhere at least. Right. So you might not like their music, but you see what kind of pool they have. But it's, it's really about, like, because it's, it's an investment at yeah. the end of the day. Like, it's, um like, even, like, you know, finding myself, like, trying to trying and wanting to do stuff for my artists. It's like, damn, I didn't realize how much money this shit is going to cost. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, at the end of the day, like, I really fuck with Dre. I fuck with his music. Yeah. I fuck with his stance. I know that he's going to go somewhere, you feel mm-hmm. me? And I know that he has, this, like, the same level of respect for me. So, at the end of the day, I don't, if, if I don't got that much, but I know at the end of the day, he needs, like, to get this done. Or we need to go to the studio and he was recording with me. All right, baby, you don't have to, we, we can discount that. We just can make sure we pay the studio off and you can get your music. Mm-hmm. You know, so you just, you have to really be dedicated to that artist and um, be comfortable where you stand financially because it's not a, a cheap um, yeah. job. It's not a cheap thing to do, like trying to do tours, paying for shows, paying for merchandise. Um, you know, if you're not an engineer yourself, paying for studio time. Right. Um, and then on top of that, like depending on how close you get with your artist, you feel me? Like, I'm, I'm the type of person, like, if you need something, I'm going to give it to you. You feel mm-hmm. me? You're a part of my family. You're a part of what I do. You feel me? So it's like, shit. Like, that might even go to, like, um, food or gas money or motherfucking, like, who knows? You need, you want a dub? All right, bet. I'll give yeah. you $20 to get some gas or something like that. You right, know, just right. because it's just, I want to make sure that you're right. as comfortable, you're in a good place as possible because that's going to make sure that I'm in the best place as possible because we're doing that shit together. Right, right, yeah. yeah. True partnership, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, uh, that's it then. I guess we can get into topics real quick and then yeah. we can get up out of here. Um, first one I got. Uh, how you been feeling about the snow? It's the first snow day of the year. It's early. Right. I was like, no. we what? We three, four days in? Yeah, we already already smack dab hit us. Yeah, it's cold. Like, I'm from Richmond. Like, I can feel it. I can smell it in the air. Like, I'm like, it's going to snow. This warm day right here is just like. No, dude, uh, a friend of mine um, said that too, like, that past weekend. He was like, yeah, you know what that means? And I was like, what that mean? He was like, it's about to snow. I was like, yeah, man. All right, man. Uh, I honestly, I remember I was like, yeah, right. I was like, because I'm used to, like, sometimes, like, them calling it. And then, like, it just, yeah, no, nah, it's, like, a little bit. So I was like, we'll see if it snows. And then, yeah. And then also, my, my first, first day, yeah. yeah, I was surprised that it was it was as bad as it was, though. That's what shocked me. Because usually, I like, saw there are good. Good. it's still on there. That refreeze? Yeah, no. that was real. And yeah. then, but the, the refreeze, I get it. It's just <laughs> the fact that while it was actually snowing, though, like, I was outside, like, 10, 30, 11 o'clock. So I had caught most of the snow, and I didn't go home until, like, 1. And that shit was just ridiculous. I was like, Oh yeah. It's really snowing on here. I ain't even do the tarp like I usually do with my car. Yeah. I never did. I've never done that. This is my first year having a car while it's snowing. Oh uh, no, the tarp is key, y'all. The tarp. Is I see. Key. I peeked. I peeked. Mm-hmm. I peeked. Yeah. Because once that you that morning, yeah, you're good. Yeah. yeah. Mm, yeah. Big baller shot caller. <laughs> right. Right. Got tarps and shit. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Right. Must hey, be nice. Yeah. He got a large. Right. He got money. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Bullshit, right? Yeah, maybe we gonna get a tarp in 2022. Right? Yeah, well, hey, that's, hey, it, it'll yeah. level up in 2022. Day one, day one tarps. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Joe on the side like this. Right, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd be cute. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Get this shit off my car. <laughs> Get this. Yeah. Yeah. No long, problem, man. Yeah, yeah, no long problem. As long as niggas buy it. Yeah, yeah. As long as niggas buy it. No, I don't care what you do with the tarp. Real cool. You right? <laughs> <laughs> the stain. The stain. Like it bleeds through it's on the car. It's literally. Now we're with you wherever you go. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get this shit off my head. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Said, no, you, you put that on the mirror. Exactly. Yeah. Where's Alex, Nick, and Jesse? Right yeah. here in the passenger seat. Mm-hmm. Well, speaking of sticking with people, uh, you gonna talk about your boy Tristan Thompson a little bit? 
Um, I don't really pay attention to shit like that because that's none of my business. Like that's how I be feeling about um, like even like like celebrity relationships and all mm-hmm. those kind of things. Like I don't really pay too much because I feel like it's all like concocted anyway. Talk to a certain you. extent. And mm-hmm. then too, at the end of the day, like I know pers like you know like I don't I can't I can't be mad if you gonna go back to somebody like that's your that's your shit. But you know him and Chloe, I guess they started dealing with each other again. On some when I saw that, I was like. Yeah, like he basically like he apologized for getting another girl pregnant, but like now he's coming out with it. Like, I mean, yeah, I mean, my life, yeah. I mean, yeah, I was like, he said sorry, he apologized. <laughs> Oh. And then I, I saw academics. That. He gave, he gave her some flowers that too. Yeah, yeah. I apologize. Yeah. I apologize. Yeah. I apologize. Yeah. I apologize. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. We're sorry. We're sorry. <laughs> We're sorry. <laughs> With the girl inside. Yeah, yeah. 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 Try to be a family. Yeah. Yeah. Hey man, God I'm a family. Man. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, keeping up with the Kardashians. No, bro, it's like keeping up with the Illuminati or some shit. That's how I feel about it. Cause they just they just plan shit out too well. Like everything just seemed like a suit on purpose on par. Like I just watched this TikTok that talked about they had like they had photoshopped a picture of one of the babies over one of the other babies. Cause I don't know the difference between <laughs> the kids, but they put that they photoshopped a picture of one over somebody baby, and then Travis had posted some picture right after it had made his comeback to Instagram or something. And the girl was like, "I wonder how they be doing this." And she went through the conversation play, and I was like, "That's probably how like like they were dead ass like um what's her name." Jenner. Chris Jenner. Chris, yeah, Chris Jenner. Mm-hmm. She probably be like, okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this picture here. We're gonna add this. Oh picture. yeah, somebody said she's a so boss. Like, like one way, yeah, she she be no, orchestrating. Yeah, of course. Running. She's a mom. She's trying to keep her money. Publicist. Like, but then you don't you, you just you had like four kids, four girls. That ain't had no talent at all. That just made you multi. Man, y'all are generationally rich forever yeah. now, forever off of nothing. What's up? Yeah. Off of sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> the one. If I knew that could happen, I would do that too. But shit, that ain't happening to me. <laughs> no more. Yeah, but yeah, I guess that's that's that on that. Um, I got Jesse. I got Jesse's one there. We can get out of here then real quick. Uh, you gonna hit me off with it since we got the mics? What does Jesse wonder? Um, what is country to y'all? Like, what describes country? So, do y'all describe country as being south? Do y'all describe country about some how somebody acts? Is it a? What do y'all describe as country? I feel like it's a mix. Yeah, hmm? I mean, because if I say it, I'm be like, yeah, you country, you country. Yeah. Is there is there a country in Virginia? Yeah. I think yeah. that do y'all got country like in northern states? You think? Like, I was thinking, yeah, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, is there a country in New York? Well, sometimes you're probably, like, like, like the, worst, the worst place. Oh, yeah, or, or yeah. Rural. Yeah, that's yeah. like yeah. 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 yeah, so what I'm saying. Like, is there is there a country in West, you know, um, in California? Is there a country in Seattle? Like, like yeah, y'all a country. Well, maybe it's an area. I feel like it's a small town. Oh, what you think an area will act like? Yeah. This is a certain type of area you'll act like. I feel like if you live in West Bubblebuck anywhere, and or anywhere. And of the, but like anywhere of that state, if that makes sense. Like, cunt, like you, like we can be in goddamn Maine, country of Maine. Like, man, you country, bro. I don't, I ain't go to the countryside of Maine. Get the fuck out of here. That's how we get. Hey, hey, shout like, I can, I can, I wonder, like, I can't, like, yeah, like, you know, I'm from the country, bro. Country of what, Maine, nigga? Like, like New York, yeah. right? Like, maybe, like, is there a country in Canada? Like, is there, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Right, so. I think it's like also like the thing. Well, maybe tacky. I don't know. I don't feel like country and tacky the same thing. I feel Ooh. like people of north. <laughs> nah, if like we were like, like north, put country. And ta- no, because country and tacky is different. Country side, like you know, like. Not <laughs> 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 all country is tacky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying if you want to be tacky, country side. I know. Right. I don't know people that you look country. Yeah, you look country. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. And that shit used to like that. That type of shit used to upset me because it's like, bro, like that's not country. That's tacky. Like it's different. Like you just being tacky and said like like. You feel me? So One, how you talk, how you head. come off and shit. You sound like you like real country, like people from like. How like, y'all? No, I ain't nothing. Sorry. Like, like, <laughs> Whatever, outside. Sandy. Right, yeah. What's up? Yeah, you feel me? That's like a draw. Yeah, you feel me? That's that. Because I watched the episode the other day. That's probably. Because the Georgia people, we sound like 
<laughs> Bro, that to be childish. Nah, no, I'm gonna love it, love it, love it, love it. But the barefoot going outside barefoot and shit, or like. Oh yeah, at any at any climate, no any weather. Yeah, yes yeah, sir. That's no, I be walking around the house barefoot all no, the time. I can't, I don't, yeah, it's I not good for your arches. I'll go outside barefoot. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna comment on another nigga's arches, but <laughs> I'm gonna let you have it. I'm gonna let you have it. Hey, I'm just saying, man. It's I feel like, you need work support. <laughs> What? Man, I, hey, I need to get an AEO, but that's what that's what I'm gonna get next. I'm gonna get out of that. So no ball. No. But yeah, that was that was my Jesse. But closer go ahead. To natu- closer to nature, I feel like. So rule. Yeah, yeah rule. Like, is it is like rule? Yeah. Are you R A L? Yeah. Rule. 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 Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Oh. <laughs> right, right, nigga. Oh, get your <laughs> But um, yeah, that was my Jesse's wonder. So I'm out of here. Al, you got any uh, shout outs real quick? Shout go out table. to my pops. Fiscal fitness, tax and financial services. Y'all need your taxes done. Y'all need financial help. Y'all need any of that kind of stuff done. Come on down to Fiscal Fitness, Tax and Financial Services at 2650 Hall Street. At the intersection of Midlothian and Hall. And also, you know, we got a little book coming out. Maybe an audio book might be coming soon. You know, Nick knows something about that. Are you are you personally going to be doing the taxes? Is the question. Okay, so depending on when y'all come go somewhere, there, your boy might go be doing somewhere. A- actually, we're getting close. We're actually really getting close. Yeah. Don't worry, I got you. No, Take he those taxes I love out. It. Talk to me. Go, Talk to my bed. Go get your taxes. Nah, nah, I got y'all. I got y'all. Ask for Derek out. Nah, nah, Derek or Alex. <laughs> Not Alex for Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he's like, nah, nah. He, he ain't got that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not about to say it. No. I let him do my taxes. Yeah. It's no, been, cap, cap. It's been a black escalate outside my house <laughs> for days. <laughs> so. Are you Nick Carter? Yeah. So, talking about some- <laughs> Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got, you got anything else, Al? The IRS actually owes me money. Hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, I was telling Alex the other day, it's funny how they take their sweet time when they owe you, <laughs> but let you owe them a cent. Uh, we need all wages. Yeah, yeah, we need no all cap. garnishment of all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we will no garnish cap. all they wages. Money. I still ain't get a stimmy yet. I ain't touching that one stimmy. Hey, no cap though. The IRS took their sweet time, and they were still penalizing people when, um, if they were late, and they were taking too long. This past tax year, it was crazy. It was ridiculous. Like one of the craziest, all the changes, mm-hmm. stimulus, all that. Well, it's about that time again. So niggas ain't. I, I know one thing. Niggas ain't going for that this year. That's oh, like nah, hell no, nah. Man, some niggas on the street. That, that's just like what unemployment and shit having people waiting still. That was ridiculous. Bro, I still bro. was calling religiously. It was not getting a dime. Bro, I called religiously and them motherfuckers told me six Same months here. later that I was denied. I'm bro, like, why would you play with my... Come on. Bro, I'm telling you, man. That's no good. Don't let somebody find out where one of them niggas work. That's all I got to say. Oh, that's it. Um, you are you threatening the government? I, I'm not saying. I'm just saying. I can see how some angry people in the bedroom. Now, if you might see me in the back, yeah, yeah. That's you won't make no phone calls. They ain't answering. They gonna hang up on you before they even answer the call. Like, they be like, go to the website. Oh, bro, that they be killing niggas. Like, go, did you go to the website? Bitch, I would not be calling you nine out of ten. <laughs> I think I said I'm on the website calling you. <laughs> I went to the website and they called the number from the website. And I'm like, I'm girl. Now I'm like, I'm looking at the website while I'm talking to you right now. So can you explain to me what this is? And she's she just saying. We, we got you on unemployment too. too much work. We got work. It. I hope. I'm going to hang up. I'm going to hang up. Like, what do mm-hmm. you mean not to steal your job? Shanta, you got any, um, any shouts? Yeah, Talking shit. To, to me. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Spiritual trap house, y'all. We got everything from the psychedelics to your spiritual needs, you know, all of that. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at ces.spiritual.traphouse. Yes, sir. Yeah. All that in the description. Okay. Seven, what you got? Yes, yeah, Okay. Well, let's see. Who else is going to get a shot? 
want to give a shout out to my homie Drake first. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Uh, gang shit. Shout out to my man Lil Maceo at the collective. You know, make sure y'all go shop there. If you a vendor, if you design clothes, go talk to them because it's a local shop to be in there. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out to the Four Cyber Cafe. You feel me? They got shit going on all week. And yeah, shout out to Melodic Mondays and the AO Music Productions and all that good shit. Follow me on Instagram at underscore dot it's dot sev dot underscore. And then you can find all my other Instagrams on there. Um, yeah, don't come with no bullshit either. That's all I got to say too. Don't come with no bullshit. Otherwise. I mean, otherwise I'm just going to block you. Yeah. People been finding out that I'm single. That does not mean come talk to me. You smiling. Right. Right. But I heard that on the yeah 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 right, 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 right. right. I mean I work for the unemployment office and I thought that being you can run right, right, right. since tax season was coming up I'm unemployed but I live near the unemployment yeah. office so yeah right yeah if you ain't coming like this don't come yes sir all right four for four at least yeah. at no the five dollar bag. Five dollar bill. We got Alex set the standard quick as a and and, and a full and a full ice. Yeah. With no with no ice. Yeah. Get yeah. <laughs> yeah. it back, you bro. Get it out like that. With light ice, nigga. Sure. Don't want to ride. 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 We know it don't take much to please y'all. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I, 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 I was mad at you, but you know what? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All you heard was slurp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the top. Bro. No, nah, well, well, she be saying five sixty sometimes. I'm like, God damn! But oh, oh yeah, right, 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 right. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> you don't care, right? Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, you're right, though. Check this out, I'm coming to $5 bag, so. You got it, yeah. The switch up. Nick, you got any, uh, you got any um, <laughs> Well, Come first on. off, you know, shout out, shout out the new setup. It, woo, woo, woo. I will say this, it's only temporary. It's something, you know, bigger coming on. Easier. So. Uh, sh- Carl! Yeah, shout out. He was supposed to come today. Come. But, I saw come. him on the gram a little Yo, bit, yeah. so. Yeah. So, Doing but, his thing. So, you know, he ain't come. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he, put, he put in the caption, he was like, I don't mess with niggas. So I was like, damn, guess he talking to Al. Yeah, he sneaked this one. Right, 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 right. right. And I'm not giving that nigga his Wendy's back. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm never, I will never pay his Wendy's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, just give me the Addy. Nah, that's we'll all good, Carl. We'll see you when we see you. I'll meet him up. But uh, yeah, shout out the family. Oh. Um, what oh. else? Oh, shout out us. Yeah. You know, yes, we're starting off the year. You know, strong. 2022, like I said, what is it? What is it? A hundredth episode? It's, yeah, yeah, it's only up from here, you know. Thirsty. Keep it going. Uh, you got anything else? No, I'm good. All right. Uh, I ain't got too much. Like Nick said, got some content coming out soon. Good, good shit coming out. Um, we got projects written up, ready. If anybody want to act, anybody want to help out behind the scenes, we're down for that as well. And uh, yeah, man. Oh, I do uh, have something to say. To go ahead. Now. Well, something that I'm working on that um, I feel comfortable with sharing with everybody. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Exclusive. So, um, nice and loud. I am planning a tour for Melodic Mondays. That's another reason why I'm excited about the four, like being the home of Melodic. That's yeah, exciting. so the goal is to have multiple Melodic Mondays going on at the same time. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. That's actually dope. Yeah, so, yeah, girl, yeah. So, um, I'm trying to find a, the best way to. Um, you know, have somebody situated as me in Richmond so that I can go to hey, North Club. Hmm. The, I ain't gonna get Jesse ass because some if I have to get a call and I have to cut Jesse out for two hours away from her. That ain't that ain't nothing new. Right, yeah, that's what that, she did that last week. Right, yeah. So no, nah, no, nah, for real. I'm looking for that's what's somebody up. that's like you know, like very similar to me, motivated, preferably a black woman as well. Yes, sir. Everything rolling the way that it's been rolling, but. Hopefully, I'll be able to kick that off sometime spring and spring if COVID doesn't like continue to rage through fucking Virginia. But that's, that's uh, hopefully, goddamn. Good got point. China. I got it. Yeah. You got COVID? No, no. Too easy. Too <laughs> easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You, but yeah, so hopefully that'll come. So make sure, like, please make sure you continue to support them a lot. Like Mondays, um, the more people that's there, the more comfortable I will be able to be, you know, present what I have to somebody else. Be like, hey, come see what I do. Maybe we can collab this Monday and the next Monday we can get rolling and, you know, it just takes off like that. And hopefully we can have three to four melodic Mondays going on in Virginia before the end of 2022. 
That's a fact. Yeah. Or somewhere else. I don't care. I'm really just trying to. Um, just, yeah, hell yeah, I really want one up. As long as we got one in the country, then yeah, we straight. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? On the countryside. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Anybody got anything else? All right, Nick, go ahead and take us out there, man. Okay, so again, we have seven here. And you yes, you may sir. not see her on another J1 Day 1 project, but you may hear her. You might. You might. You might. Right, right. You might. might check one, too. I have a pretty familiar voice, I guess. So, you know. All right. But again, shout out Seven. Thank you for coming through. Yes, sir. Ski. You know. Again, I'm Nick. Jesse. Alex. And this is the 804 Podcast. We out of here. We're out. You already know what time it is. You, you signed the hat. You already know. But now we don't have a hat. We got our man Elf in the sign. Got a man Will. Sign wherever you want. Right, our man Will. And we ain't talking about Smith. Both yeah. y'all can sign wherever y'all want. <laughs> ain't no ritual to sign. It's just yeah, that. just right. sign it. Yeah, you can't do much, too much with a white man. So. Yeah, yeah, facts. <laughs> or else you're, well, yeah. yeah. All right, and then you can sign. I gave him my little jump. Yeah. Right on the chin. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. And we are...